the main thing I wanted to focus on in this review is the screens because um, people do a pretty good job of, of uh, comparing the internal hardware and things like that, but for some reason nobody ever takes a look at um, how the screens do in different lighting conditions. So I'm going to take these outside into the sun and see how they do outside. The reason I say that is because the MacBook Air has a brighter screen, but the Acer C720 has a matte screen. So this one is glossy and bright, and this one is matte and dim. So the, the brightness of the screen should do better in the bright light, but it should also be reflective because of the glossy screen, uh, whereas this one is a little dimmer, but it will be less reflective, so it might be easier to see in the bright light. So if you're looking at this video now, it kind of looks like this one is a little brighter, but I think that's only because of the pictures. So I brought up the same picture um, in both of them, and you can see, if you just take a look, this one has pretty bright colors. This one, not as bright. It uh, might not be as apparent on the camera. Let's see how good, how well you can see it compared to this one's much flatter. So if you're looking for something that you're going to use a lot for watching movies indoors or uh, looking at pictures, you might want to go with something with more of the glossy, bright screen. Um, MacBook Air is awesome. Obviously, it's a lot more expensive than the C720, but there are also a lot of other uh, cheap computers out there that have glossy screens with uh, brighter screens. So if you um, if you are interested in a cheap computer that has a matte screen, though, that's going to be maybe better outside, then you might work well with the C720. So let's take them both outside and, uh, well, actually, let's first take a look at how they do here. Next, near the windows, you can see it's reflecting a lot more. And Okay, now let's see here. You can kind of see, I can read pretty well on both of them. This one is definitely reflecting a little more, as you can see. And this one is more uh, diffuse, so it's not having so many reflections. But actually, I still think that hmm, I still think I can read the MacBook screen a little bit better, even with the reflections. Depends on the angle I go to, though. At certain angles, it's actually easier to see the C720 screen. Okay. So here we are out in the sun with the two laptops. All right. So not very readable at all. Let's try to get. Alright, well, I can see a little bit. I can read some words. Let's see if I go to something which is going to contain a lot of text. Um, Google, let's just Google something. Google cats. And, of course, we're offline because we're at the beach. So let's look at something else. Ah, here's an article that I was reading about text editors. Okay, I can read, actually. Yeah, I can. I can read pretty well. Yeah, it's not that hard to read. Uh, and I can see pictures pretty well. That's cool. Oh, I am kind of, let's see. Yeah, as long as my uh, shadow is on the laptop for my head, I'm able to read pretty well. But as long as my shadow is off the laptop, it's almost completely washed out and it's very hard to read. All right, let's try the MacBook. Okay, now here we have a slightly different issue. Of course, it's uh, very reflective. Hmm. Let's see if I can open something up with text. Okay, here I have something that I wrote, which, yeah, you can actually, uh, hmm. yeah, you can read it too. If my, if my shadow is over it, you can read it. If my shadow is not over it, you can still read it a little bit. Um, it's pretty reflective, but it's, like I said before, also much brighter. Here's a research paper. Okay. Yeah, so if you look over, yeah, you can actually definitely read. Let's see if it's on its brightest. It is on its brightest. So you can kind of read on the MacBook, especially when, when I'm blocking, when my shadow is blocking. Yeah, you can kind of read it either way. It definitely has a lot of glare. You can see the sun glinting off of it. It's kind of distracting, kind of hard to read, um, but definitely doable. Now let's go back to the Chromebook. Okay, so I'll just have to tell you, I think that the Chromebook is easier to read in the sun slightly. Not by that much, but slightly because of the matte screen, because it's not glaring from the sun. Oh, by the way, I've left this uh, plastic on because I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, return it yet. I have to decide. I might return it and get the C720P, which is the same computer, but touchscreen. Because it's just so much nicer if you can just go like that. I think uh, touchscreen, people underestimate how useful it is and uh, how pleasant it can be as a user experience. So I don't know if you can see on, the, on, the, on here, but it's definitely better. It's definitely better than using the MacBook now that I really look at it. Um, just because there's no glare, even though it's not as bright, it's at least like semi-visible. Everything is at least semi-visible. And I can see my emails. Don't worry, that's just the lifeguard. Um, yeah, I can see my emails pretty well. Yeah, I can read pretty much anything. That's great. Okay. 
And uh, pictures won't show up very well, obviously. But at least you can read text. Yeah, yeah Chromebook definitely wins. Let's see if you can see that the difference here. That's the Chromebook versus... That's the MacBook Air. It's not even close. The Chromebook kicks the MacBook Air's ass in the screen and reading in the sun department. Screen, re sun readable screen, sunlight readable screen. Yeah, okay. So you can see. All right, I think that's that, that pretty much settles it. Um, let's just see pictures. You know what, I'm gonna actually just, uh, yeah, open up the same picture in both of them. All right, you can't even see it at all in the MacBook from the angle that I'm at. I'm moving around. I can at least see it a little bit in the, in the uh, Chromebook. Yeah, at least I can see a little bit of what the picture is in the Chromebook. Now, when I lean in and I can really look close at the MacBook, I can see the colors better. It actually still has better colors than the Chromebook, but it's very hard to see, and you really have to shade it with your, your whole shadow. But when I lean back out here, I can't see anything on the, the MacBook. On the Chromebook, at least I can see the picture, like a general idea of the picture. And then when I lean in, I can see it better. All right, well, that's it. This has been a quick review uh, of the difference between the matte screen on the Acer C720 versus the glossy screen on the MacBook Air. Before I actually went out and ordered my C720, I had been wondering if it would be better to read in the sunlight than the MacBook Air because the MacBook Air has a much better screen with much brighter, um, much more NITS, which I don't really know what that is, but just like a brightness rating. So I thought maybe the MacBook Air would be better in the sunlight, but it turns out the Acer with the matte screen is actually better in the sunlight. So if you're looking for something to use outside, this is a pretty good machine to pick, pretty good laptop. You can even see it here in the bright Miami sun. Welcome back to MacBook Air versus Acer C720. Um, it is now about 7 p.m., so the sun has mostly gone down. The tide has come in a significant amount, as you can see. Um, and uh, here we're looking at how the screens do between the two computers in waiting sun uh, waning sunlight fading out behind me. So, um, as you can see, now they're much closer. It's kind of more of a tie right now um, because there's not so much glare on, on the, the glossy screen. But um, the one thing that I would note is that there is still a little bit of glare on the screen, even though it's, it's really waning, uh, waning sunlight. Uh, and that glare can, I think if I stare at it for long enough, if I look at the screen for long enough, that glare will start to give me a headache um, and start to be annoying and distracting. Whereas on this one, there really is no glare at all. Um, and it's much easier on the eyes to look at. So. That's, uh, that's all there is to it. This, uh, this one's shinier, better for indoor use. This one's matte, and it actually does uh, make it a lot easier to work outdoors than if you were to use the MacBook Air. So if you're considering buying a laptop that you want to use outside, and you don't mind uh, going with uh, Chrome OS or uh, Ubuntu or some other Linux distribution that you decide to load onto your Chromebook, then I would say save the money and go with the Chromebook. But if you have needs like you need to use heavy-duty programs like uh, Adobe Photoshop or things like that, uh, and you need a powerful computer, then go, then, and you have the money for it, then go with the MacBook, because it's definitely a better computer, um, better build quality. Um, the keyboard is just so much nicer, everything, like the touchpad is nicer, everything runs really nicely. The, just a better computer overall. Um, but if uh, being able to use it outdoors is the most important thing to you in the sunlight, I would go with the, the Chromebook C720. The links to purchase both of these computers are in the description.